what's going on YouTube back with another video we're gonna be going over my setup that I used all last season this season too basically my setups not very uh, big or you know spectacular like a lot of these other people's setups I mean eventually we're gonna get to that point but basically I'm showing you guys pretty much how you can start your setup just like me like all I did was part-time and uh, I made it work so basically I got on the green pal app because the guys at work were like, hey man, you need to get on this stuff. So basically, I did that, started bidding some lawns, and I'm like, man, you know, I don't even have a truck yet. So basically what I did is I put my thinking cap on. I've had this Chevy HHR probably for the last, what, 10 years. I'm sitting at about 295,000 miles on this thing. And I kid you not, here, let me show you guys. 295,000 miles on this vehicle. And um, basically, you know, we're not gonna get a big old walk behind in here or anything like that but honestly you could probably fit you know just a regular old push mower in the back of this thing with ease in fact i have my the 25 inch sitting right here i know it looks a little cramped up right there the front seat folds down on this thing and this is still the original clutch 295,000 miles in the chevy hhr i still have the original clutch so basically um a lot of people are like man that's crazy man you got all your lawn equipment in there but basically it's making money you know uh as you can see in my name wildcard mma for mixed martial arts you can tell that um i've done mma for a long time and this was my vehicle that i used to get to a lot of my training when i stopped and talked to the cpa he said every time these wheels are moving i'm making what 56 cents a mile is what it was last year so i was able to ride off a good amount of miles so basically every time that this thing is moving i'm making money and the bright side about that is you know i'm still averaging like 25 miles to the gallon so basically this is the room that we have this is my setup right here we got a little extra i had a shrub job i had to do today but um basically as you can see nothing spectacular you know what i mean there's a lot of people who are like you know man that's pretty crazy but you know it is crazy you know yesterday uh when i was running I did three and a half hours and I made $210. So basically, I was averaging $60 an hour with this setup. And uh, it just doesn't stop right there because this is what I first started off with. I started off with my 25 inch mower, my original FS70 weed eater, and uh, my handheld blower. I'm gonna show you guys how I get it out and get it back in, so we'll check it out. Like I said, this is how I load it up and unload it every single time. You know, the bright side about things, I don't have to worry about getting um, the trimmer racks and all that stuff. Eventually down the road, I will. But right here with this setup, you got the tinted windows in the back. A lot of people can't really see what you have because the biggest thing that I'm worried about is people stealing my equipment because there's nothing worse than going out on the job, coming back, and not having your equipment there. So to me, it's all about security. You got to keep everything locked up. It don't even matter if you think you're in a great neighborhood keep it locked up because you just never know a lot of the thieves will roll around these nice neighborhoods to see the people that are slipping and when they're slipping you know you're out a $500 backpack blower so as soon as you get it stolen you better jump on the marketplace or Craigslist start you know seeing if you catch it real quick because if not that thing's gonna be gone so this is how I usually unload and load my setup As you guys can see right here, um, I had to make my own little ramp system. So I went and got the little channel thing that you use for um, like trusses inside uh, for the roofs of stuff. And uh, got a little bit of grip tape, two by fours. This has been my saving grace right here. I had to make things happen when I when I bit in my first lawn, so I had to get it going. I set this thing up like this. Always have your hearing protection. There you guys how I get my setup every single time. Get in there, unload it. Does it get a little crazy at first? Yeah, it does. 
But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Cause like I said, the main thing is making sure your stuff's not getting stored. So as you can see right there, you guys, all that open space right there in this HHR. And what's even crazy is, um, we'll get into it, but I'll show you other things I purchased all last year in my setup. I have, the HHR is probably worth about maybe 500, you know, 295,000 miles on it. I'm probably sitting at about maybe $500. This is what this is worth. And uh, I probably got a couple thousand dollars worth of equipment in there, huh? This was my original weed eater. I bought this as a homeowner. This little FS70, I think I probably ate up so far, I'm probably sitting at over 400 yards with this, including doing my own personal yard. So this was my very first weed eater that I bought. I bought this as just a regular old homeowner because I'm a firm believer in, you know, you get what you pay for, so you want to get good stuff right from the get. So it didn't help that, you know, we got a friend of the family, you know, he, uh, he sells this equipment, so it, it's no brainer. You know I me, mean? I support him, local business, you know, it takes care of me. So over this time frame, I was able to start off with my weed eater, my FS70, and uh, I bought the original mower. This is this is still the, the beast of the whole operation, is the Y Bravo 25. So I got that as a homeowner, which I mean, I think the homeowner warranty is like five years or something like that. Commercial warranty is three. But um, never had a problem. They've always hooked me up if I ever had anything to do with it, you know, anything go wrong or something, they were there. You know, parts are cheap for it, so that was good. At the Y Bravo 25, this is the workhorse. You know what I mean? I haven't been to a place yet that I couldn't get that thing through. Even though it's 25 inches, you know, it's, it's good. You know what I mean? I can't complain. If I was to get another one, you know, and the more I lean on it, I think I would get the, another 25 over the 21, and I love my 21. So let's go check out the other stuff. All right, yeah, so like I'm a big advocate on keeping your stuff locked up. So I knew once I was getting into this, I had to go about, you know, making sure everything was secured, locked up when I wasn't around because like I said, you don't want your stuff getting stolen. So in the meantime, when I first started off, I used to kind of keep my, my push mower inside my house. You know what I mean? Because that's one of the things you definitely don't want to get stolen is your lawnmower because then you'd be, you know, you'd have a hard time. You know what I mean? You, de you definitely have to go out there and finance some new stuff. What I did with my father's, we went ahead and built a shed. I know some people, it's a she shed, it's kind of small, but it's okay. We built that pretty much from all the concrete work at the house. So I was able to take all my like two by fours and stuff and frame this whole thing out. And uh, we trimmed it out, everything, you know, cause it's all about security. So we had to make sure we had something secure for all of our stuff. So, you know, it could protect it from the elements and not have to worry about getting our stuff, you know, jacked. Cause man, you don't want to get your stuff stolen. My setup in here, as you guys can see, over my time and my setup first starting this off, you know what I mean? And I'm just running uh, my lawn mowing company pretty much part time and it's really, really taken off. It's, I mean, Honestly, at the end of the summer, I was kind of ready to stop mowing lawns, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I walk every single lawn. Eventually, we're going to upgrade and get, you know, the better stuff. But we have great stuff for, you know, walking. So in the meantime of having the 25, I was able to purchase another 21. The 21 is my backup mower. I used to a little bit here at the house and stuff, but, um, you know, if one mower went down, that's pretty much what happened last year, is uh, my 25 didn't really go down, but the bars broke, you know, when I was loading it and unloading it, which is one thing Y Bravo definitely knows about. They fixed it, and uh, we got it fixed. So in the meantime, it was towards the end of the season, and, you know, it was a it was a hit, you know what I mean? It was like, uh, I think I dropped like nine, 900 for that one, but, um, you know, I think the, the bigger one's about 11 maybe, because one has the blade break, the other one doesn't. So, um... Yeah, we were able to um, buy that, purchase it. I think I might have financed that one real quick because I got a long cutting account. It was like six months, no interest. So, you know, I just went ahead and did it. You know what I mean? Instead of hitting it right off the get-go. I could have paid cash for it if I wanted to, but what the heck, you know? So here is my original bl blower that I used when I first started doing my lawns. The little still BG50 right there. This thing's still a workhorse, you know? I mean, we did a, a good amount of yards with that, you know what I mean? That thing is, um, it's, you know, de near and dear to my heart. Now I think I use it a little bit around the house, but pretty much um, if I start the charcoal or something like that, I can use that thing to like really get that chimney started. You know, all the coals started really good. So 
from that time frame, I had a couple houses and uh, I was thinking to myself, hmm, you know, I'm using a lot of time edging with um, the weed eater because some of those lawns were real, real thick and overgrown. Because that's one thing about Green Pal is uh, they call it the Green Pal Special where you'll get some of these lawns and they're super overgrown, you know what I mean? These people have it like, you know, two feet tall and stuff like that. But um, I had a couple of them where they were end lots and I was doing a lot of edging. So what I did is I went and got another still. This is the FC56. This is the homeowner edition because I went in there to buy the commercial one, but you know, they're at the, um, at my dealer, which is a friend of the family. He's like, oh man, we don't have none of those in, but we can order you one. I said, man, I kind of need one right now. I really want the commercial one. He's like, get this. He's like, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. You know, so I took his, uh, his uh, choice and I went with it and I haven't had a problem. In fact, I think when we first had it, I had a problem with them. Um, it was shooting when I was trying to start it, uh, some gas throughout the car, through the carb or something like that. But um, I brought it in, they replicated the problem, took care of it. And I tell I kid you not, that thing starts the easiest out of all my equipment. I don't know what they did. They put some magic on it or something like that, but that thing is easy to start. So that was my next purchase, paid for that cash. You know what I mean? And then we went to the next thing where I had a couple of my homeowners that were wanting to have their shrubs done. Yeah, I kind of held off almost halfway through the season last year and uh, barely, right before halfway season, through, through the season. You know, I had a couple of them, they were like, hey man, can you, you, can you trim these shrubs? I'm like, yeah, okay, I can do it. Um, so I went down there and I picked up the, what's it, the HL56K, same thing. This is uh, the homeowner. I guess addition, but it's like a $350, $400 homeowner one. It's one of the better ones. So, you know, people can say what they want to say, but I'm not one of these big YouTubers pushing, you know, electric equipment. You know what I mean? I have all gas powered equipment. Don't get me wrong. If I want to get the high end one, I can get the high end one. I'm looking at that pulse, the pulse saw, the big 650 one that telescopes all that crazy stuff. So, what I need, this does the job for me. You know what I mean? He told me pretty much, you know, WD 40 before, after on the blades, you should be good to go. So, this was, um, real vital my setup you know what i mean because a lot of people are like hey do you guys um do shrubs yes i can do shrubs so i went ahead and took care of that we took care of that and uh just this last season i know it's kind of crazy in here i know it's kind of crazy but you know i got my little thing for my own so I fertilize my yard i'm a little pressure washer you know i have all my stuff so i can treat my yard because i'm not you know really um licensed to treat anybody else's so i don't get into that type of stuff with ocean ponds and stuff but my last biggest purchase i just purchased this is going to be my my baby right here this is the as you can see it fs94r i just i just purchased this one because you know i just wanted to be able to have a backup and stuff and um I think I paid what, like 300 bucks for that thing. It's still two stroke. Um, you know what I mean? Paid for it cash. Everything you're seeing right now has all been paid for for cash. Now, let's go back over here to the um, to the HHR. You know, I mean, it almost makes you wonder like, man, you could actually um, get like a van or something like that and make it work. And I've thought about even like some of those little sprinter vans and stuff to open up. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are like, man what's that's so crazy why are, you know what i mean why don't you get a truck you need to get a truck that's what you need to do i'm like well i got to use the hhr because i don't want to tell her tell my stuff on my s3 right there yeah definitely don't i it, it could probably tell don't get me wrong it's all wheel drive that thing get up and move turbocharged yeah pretty crazy huh all right so we're back here to my 500 hhr you know the wheel ain't broke don't fix it so this is my saving grace right here the br430 backpack blower thing's a beast after you, you go from a handheld blower to a backpack blower you almost like you don't even want to go back you know what i mean I, I like the handheld blower you know what i mean it's near and dear to my heart but when it comes down to you know getting stuff done man that um that backpack blower gets it done so you know and, and, and hey don't get me wrong about like the audi right there i'm still looking at trying to trade that thing in get the truck you know what i mean because I'm, I jumped into this lawnmowing business not really knowing, you know, what could happen. If somebody asked me about like um, a year before I started, hey man, you can make money mowing lawns. And I kind of did it as a kid growing up and I'm like, yeah, maybe. And I enjoy being outside, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? I, I love being outside doing this stuff. And, uh, but you know, um, it's, it's really good. I think, like I said, yesterday we were running in three and a half hours, 210. 
my average at that time was $60 an hour. You know I me, mean? I don't know where else you can make 60 bucks an hour part time. You know, that's why I tell people, man, anybody can get into this business and make it work. You know what I mean? Cause you have to know your self worth and you know, you don't want to be doing work for free. You know, it's one of the things where some of these businesses with well, lawn mowing businesses, they get in business and um, they treat it like a hobby. So it's running them like a business. You know what I mean? That's not me. Thing is, if I go on a yard and I've had this happen when I've been out there cutting some people's yards, people will come up to me and they'll be like, hey, how much um, you charging them to cut their yard? I said 45. And, uh, and they're like, well, how much do you do that one? I was like, well, that's the corner one. I'm gonna go 50. And he looks at me like I'm stupid. But I mean, you're coming to me. If you want to find somebody else, you know, you pay for what you get, you get what you pay for. And that's the thing that's helped me keep my company afloat is the reinvesting. You know what I mean? It's getting this money and not really splurging. Because I think last year I did almost under $10,000 in credit card transactions. So I did probably close to like 15,000 in a couple months worth of work. So I'll figure that out and I'll get the total for you. But basically this is my setup that I built since last season so the only big purchase i purchased so far this season was the um the fs94r that was my thing you know what i mean we're gonna start the season off kind of with something new and that's what we did and uh like i said you know the fs70 still running like a champ it's a beast you know what i mean you don't necessarily have to have all the good stuff so one thing i was able to do last year also is um as you guys can see probably seen in some of my prior other videos was i was able to pick up a, a little itty bitty trailer i think this is a little four four by eight i believe is what it is as you can see <clears throat> picked that up off a of let go for two hundred dollars so as soon as i seen it i told the people i was like because i didn't have a hitch on the back of the hhr but i did pick up a hitch from u-haul so i can actually tow that around i got myself a little trailer i think they sell those for like five six hundred bucks at lowe's or something but got it for 200 can't beat that you know all paid for paid cash for everything you know just off my part-time job cutting lawns so eventually I know I will go full-time and uh, you know it's one of those things some days it's tiring you know some days it's 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 not you know and uh, you know it hasn't hit the, the dead heat summer yet but if you're trying to make money and start a business you definitely can do that you know, I do have a college degree from Oklahoma State but back in my early fight years if I didn't have a job while I was fighting and this is if I can do it and uh, granted I do have more commercial equipment you could do this and make it be easier with some of those little push lawnmowers from Lowe's and stuff that fit back in the HHR with ease in fact I think some of those Toros you can like actually fold them up and put them in there you can fit like two of those things back there with all your equipment too so I mean you can get a brand new HHR and I won't say brand new but you know a used one for probably like two three four thousand dollars at most and uh, make it work you know so it's it's your drive if i can do it i'm just showing you you can do it too and uh if you like if you like what i've showed you you know comment see some other things you'd like to see me do with the my equipment and whatnot and uh hit the like button subscribe you know um we're gonna try keeping everything on here fun you know what i mean break out the realm a little bit you know because like i said you know i am a a fighter do brazilian jiu-jitsu trained with one of the best jiu-jitsu guys in the world so let's um Let's get this going, so uh, subscribe, let me know what you guys think.